excuse me, probably should have waited to uh, start my stream until that actually showed up, but we're here now. This is what's happening. But welcome everyone. Time to piss off the Jedi Council and have our freaking red lightsabers. <laughs> Are you guys upset about this? Didn't think so. Okay, bye. Bye. See ya. I'm not even going to talk about this. Will you just calm down back there? Stop stomping around, Bo. Oh wait, this is too far. Okay, go back. And then we just leave. Will you calm down with your stomp PC? I lay on my bed. Getting freaking past this lightsaber all up in my eyes. I don't know how I feel about that. I already spoke to you, haven't I, John? Thank you for exactly. Yep. Bye. And I don't have enough money to buy 90% of your shit, so you can just stay there. Rude. <coughs> Excuse me. Cut him up, fuck him up. Vasa, you know what to do. It's funny how she's using a blue and I'm using red. None of us are actually going with our actual <laughs> supposed color schemes that we're supposed to have. Even though, it'd be uh, kind of interesting just going along. I forgot what I was saying midway through. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the ruins. We are going to follow in the pathway of Darth Revan and Darth Malak before they became Darths. That is Infinite Empire. And I believe that's Tusken Raider. Vasa, do you have any idea what this droid is saying? I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by ciphering through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phonemes of a language we can understand. And that's Selka. Hey, I understood that. Variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when he explored these ruins. What are you, and why are you here?
This was supposed to be a monument to the power of Starforge? What? How long have you been here? would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. But there must be some mistake. <coughs> what is the Starforge? But what is it? What does it do? The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. Though in fact, it could be anything. Could it have been a factory or a weapons plant? Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Starforge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Who are these builders you keep talking about? These builders must have been an extinct people. But it is strange there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy have no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Something must have happened to wipe the builders out. Have you seen a builder recently? Where can we find the Starforge? Worthy, huh? Oh, I liked Nemo. Did you kill that Jedi over there? How can I prove myself worthy? Seal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. The Republic is always depending on us. I want to wear the blue. And you could use, you could wear the brown. You look better in brown than I do anyway. I mean, look at that. Is she pretty? Yes. Karth, don't you talk shit. I'll beat you. I'm already stabbing you in the leg and you don't seem to mind, so I don't think beating you really helped too much. Bastila, you need a level up. Let's go and get all those to two and then what magic are you gonna get? 
Let's give you a dark side power. Just because you're such a goody two-shoes, I think it would be ironic. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still kind of sick, but I'm better than yesterday. Yesterday I didn't stream at all because I, uh... Um... I was so sick I couldn't even go to work. So I, uh... I stayed home and laid in my bed all day. <laughs> We're gonna start movement, and then we're gonna switch out to a vibro sword and the prototype vibro blade. Yep, just as I suspected. Okay, now you need the sword that you use when you were captured. It has high energy resistance, I guess. So giving Karth a uh, a disruptor gun would probably be better. But we get to do this now. The ancient computer hums and throbs. As you approach it, its screen flickers to life. A stream of incomprehensible characters scroll across it. Press a button. A new sequence of equally incomprehensible characters appears on the screen. Press many buttons at random. Talk to the computer. The computer goes silent, its screen blank. A few extremely unusual characters then appear on the screen. The computer emits a rapid sequence of tones. You hear one of these tones softly echoed by your data pad. A small data receptacle opens in the front of the ancient machine. Insert data pad. The computer seems to be interfacing with your data pad. The screen goes blank again. And then more familiar characters begin to appear on the screen. What? Talk to the computer again. Fall silent again, humming softly. It seems to be processing data from your data pad. Your data pad is released for the receptacle. The machine goes silent for a moment before flickering to life again. Data interpretation com complete. Language analysis complete. Continue. Interrogative. Identify three primary life-giving seed world types. Whenever I first did this, one, I didn't know what arboreal was, and two, I didn't know what this meant. Now that I do, I know it's oceanic, grassland, and arboreal. Predatory type, conductive. You no, know, yeah, that. But yeah, um, let's just say I was playing this game whenever I was like, like twelve or something, so I didn't know anything about anything for the most part. But damn, did I not love this game? I've played it at least five or six times in a row from beginning to end before I even played any other game. Now we get to wait. Yeah, whenever I first started, uh, Playing games, I wasn't exactly the biggest fan of turn-based games, but this one, like, this one caught my attention and kept it, and it hasn't really let go since. And now I've gotten more into uh, turn-based combat games, and I don't know what caused me to get into it, but I don't really mind to be honest. We talk. Unusual characters. It's our data pad. Unusual characters. Talk to the computer again. Processing seeing data. Flickering to life. Blah blah blah. And then now it's the death giving seed world types. Desert, volcanic, and barren. 
I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I've done this a few times. <laughs> Hello. Bye. Are you seriously just like a droid that stays alive forever? That's kind of cool. Oof. Why does it look like my character is limping? One of the big reasons why I know what limping looks like is because I do it almost every single freaking day. What is it? So what is the Starforge exactly? I, I don't know, but Revan and Malak were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some kind. Yeah, that makes me think. The council can tell us more, but I think this map might be the How did Revan and Malak even first learn about the Starforge? This looks like Korriban, the Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine and his Manal. But there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. Perhaps those worlds have more clues. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Mal visited Corbin at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Star Forge. Some way to destroy it. That sounds like quite a supposition. What if you're wrong? What if I'm right? We can't ignore this. Finding the Starforge might very well be the key to defeating the Sith. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. Doesn't surprise me. We get it. We have to do all the work anyway. But, um, yeah, like, what I was saying before is. We found out about this ruin, like these ruins, from Revan and Malak in their, uh, the little vision we had. I mean, I guess they only opened it because they were told not to, and then they found out about the Star Forge, maybe? I don't know. I mean, that would make sense, but... Still, it just seems kind of strange that we f follow in their footsteps, but there's no indication of what started them down the path to find the Star Forge. But I do kind of like the fact that we're going to give you a lightsaber. But it's not going to be effective against everything. And there's potential times to where you'll still need to use your sword. I don't know. I find that actually kind of cool. The way, they the way they decided to do that. It's interesting. Mm, excuse me. Oh. And the funny thing is, you can actually, uh, circumvent the whole, only the main character 
can use whatever. I don't know if it happens in this game, but in Knights 2, whenever you're just playing as your uh, your companions, <laughs> that circumvents that whole thing, and then they're able to get Affect Mind and Dominate Mind. I don't know. I find it kind of strange, but it's funny too. Alright, now we just need to run back, talk to the Jedi Council, have them tell us that we need to go to these other planets, because of course. I mean, it's not like they have any other Jedi who could do this kind of shit. What's up, Asa? How can I help? You look like something's bothering you. Well, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. I think you're interested in more than just the bond between us. Please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are rather beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, I find you intriguing. I, I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. Surely you can understand why. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ember Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Relationship? That's some kind of clumsy come on. I was referring to the bond we share. The one the Jedi Council spoke of. <laughs> I love messing with her. She's so cute. I'm sure I could come up with a much better approach than this. Whoa, guess I touched a nerve there, huh? Touched a nerve? No. Getting on my nerves, most definitely. I suppose this is what you men consider being witty. Are you going to answer my questions, or would you rather just keep annoying me? <laughs> uh, the second one. <laughs> but I'll be nice to her. Okay, I'll answer a few questions. Worry, these are simple questions, nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? I'm a hut in human form, plotting to overthrow the Republic. <laughs> I was a smuggler before I joined the fleet. On which planet were you born? <laughs> Kashik, I'm a Wookiee, can't you tell? <laughs> Duralia? It's in a remote system. Why? Excellent. The current age is? <laughs> 3,012. Healthy living, you know. <laughs> Was it all this in my service records? Yes. Well, the truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. And what did you like? What did you find out? You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened ever since Talos. Probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later. After you've had time to think about all this. Makes sense to me. But I want to talk to you again. You have something you want to ask me? I do. How did you know? <laughs> well, you keep staring at me. See anything you like? You are easily the vainest, most arrogant <laughs> man I have ever met. <laughs> Serious, since I was purposely not staring at you. <coughs> I am a Jedi, remember? I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind. I don't know why fucking with her is so fun. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about you. You're so cute when you're embarrassed. Why must you be so impossibly infuriating? Very well, I'm really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council. Oh, this relationship allows us glimpses into each other. Still makes me laugh, and it's great. This actually. And what I feel within you troubles me. A 
Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. <laughs> what do you think I should do? I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. I will try. That's good to hear. Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult, even with the best of intentions. There's great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are into I mean, everything one of us does. I was thinking about something just now. Any reckless behavior on your part is like If Jedi were a real thing, I would probably be for the most part a light side Jedi with the way that I live my life. And I didn't take years of training to do it. It works both ways, doesn't it? You can help me stay strong. Yes. Do my best to guide you, but I am no master, not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming me. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I would appreciate any help you could offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. How can I help? I do very much enjoy the dynamic between these characters. Oh, Karth, you, uh... Yes, what's on your mind? You got a problem now? You've been very quiet lately. You know that? Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. <laughs> oh, poor baby. You need filling in on some small... On some detail. Oh, uh, I could be so mean to him. Vasa, why do you look so upset? Left out of the loop, I don't understand. Left out of the loop? Get out! Not being told anything strung along? It's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. That is none of your concern, Karth. And you would do well to leave the matter be. I respect you, Vasila, but you've been as close Just... mouthed as the rest of the Council. If you won't talk to me, then... Maybe somebody else will. They thought it would be more important that I help find the star maps than stay. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with this? Don't they don't they have to train you? They say there's a they said there's a bond between Bassa and myself. A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bassila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Are you saying I'm not needed? No, I don't... I didn't mean that you weren't wanted or that I want to go. It's just... Damn it. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. I'm not going to betray you. I am not Saul. Well, what do you see about that one? Then? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul. Not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. <laughs> let's, let's just get on with what we were doing. I'm sorry, Karth. I want to tell you everything, but the game won't let me. I told you all I could. Literally, I don't know any more than you do. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcomed in the Jedi Order. Have you spoken to the Council? I have spoken to the Council. And they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself. 
my actions. Corporal's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could form a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my plan. Corporal wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. That's pretty harsh. Corporal's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach, but now I truly understand my own limitations. After our last battle, Quatre had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You, back to the well. When I left, Quatre knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. Though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I can't say I approve of your training methods. This has been Garth, I agree. Time, but it seems you have learned it well. I am certain you will be a credit to the Order. I do not know what the Council has in store for me. But I will trust in the Force. And the way of the Jedi will help me through whatever is to come. <sighs> I don't know. The whole process of that training situation seems kind of kind of screwy to me. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? We found an incomplete star map. In mention of something called a Star Forge? This news of a Star Forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi know victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I have consulted our vast archives and attempted to discover the nature of this star forge. You're making all kinds of noise back there, huh, Bob? Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manam, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. I am ready to do the Council's will. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith. Dooming your efforts to failure. Am I to undertake this task alone? Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you. For there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Jahani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. There are others I want to join me. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi. Nor should you. 
but the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can count on me. I will not fail. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the what, is, what is that supposed to mean? Hand, young Padawan. We pray you are up for the challenge. May the Force be with you. An all too familiar path. Basso, do you know what they're talking about? Oh, I'm sorry. You can't talk to me unless I say specific things. Speak of which, does anyone have anything to say right now? No? Yeah, you can suggest whatever the hell you want. Alright? No? Okay, bye. Fine. I didn't want to talk to you people anyway. Get your paw off my phone, you heard. What? 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 I don't think the council would want me sp to speak openly about this mission. What could be more dangerous than the Sith? Oh, they were born with Weird. The feeds on the blood of those who are strong in the forest over the centuries, many Jedi have fallen to their ravenous hunger. Damn! What makes this creature so dangerous? Then why are you worried about them now? It does sound like now. Great hunt, what's that? So, the Jedi just killed these creatures? Hmm. 
Why? What was so special about these three? Dorian Kaldroma, Dornhen Suresh, and Sheila Noor. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I'll be careful. <laughs> Alright, back to the Oven Hawk and off this planet. Oh, I don't know for sure, but I think we should go to Tatooine first. Manan. One of those two. I don't really know, to be honest. No problem. Didn't work. Rude. Are all these empty? Oh, these are like... These almost seem like they're for, uh... Like... Emptying out your inventory just so that you don't have to search through 50 million things to find the one thing that you want. And, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and store some stuff in here. Really? You can only store things one at a time? It's irritating. Okay, that's it. Because I'm not spending 20 minutes just throwing shit in there. Hey. Why do you have a better freaking Jetta Road than I do? I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the grove. It was wrong of me. Damn right. Apologize. You thought the dark side had consumed you. It is nothing. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes and in my own. Don't worry, Juhani. I forgive you. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I tried to take your life. I can only hope that in our time journeying together, I will succeed. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? How did you become to... Like, bleh. How did you come to be a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear it? Yes, please continue. Well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my homeworld. We did not see Jedi very often, especially where I live. Where did you live? Behind Angle Space, a pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image 
that he escaped. Maybe I was one of those children. Did you meet a Jedi? Yes. Yes, I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was awed, and maybe a little enamored. Enamored? <laughs> the imagination could be a dangerous thing. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference, as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child, but this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search. My character constantly looks like he's barely paying attention. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before he came, although perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Okay. Now it's time. It's time to waste more time talking. What is it you would like to speak with? Are you doing all right? I, I, I thank you for your concern. But I am still a bit shaken. Perhaps you just need more time. More time would do me good. Time to distance myself from what's down there. I think that is why the council agreed to send me with you. They think perhaps that in your company, I will be able to free myself from it. If I see you begin to slip back, I will intervene. I thank you for your concern and your acceptance. I will strive to prove that I am worthy of your company and trust. Okay. Whatever. Let's go see if anyone else has anything to say. I know Mission needs to talk to her brother or whatnot. This is the galaxy map. The Evan Hawks onboard navigation computer. When you are ready to leave Dantooine, you can use the galaxy map to travel to other planets around the galaxy. Planet is that? <laughs> I was trying to see what planet this is by the name and everything, but it's very incomprehensible. Okay, Basla. Hi, how's it going? You wanted to speak? Yeah, you wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate or the Force is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Is it true you killed Darth Revan? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. He did not kill Revan, however. So who killed Revan then? Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. And what else did you expect from the Sith? True, I suppose. And yet the outcome of that battle was unexpected to all of us. Revan's end was unforeseen. As I said, we were Why does it sound like there's something you're not telling me? I do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember... That Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side. Uh. I'm sorry, you really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. You were the one who brought it up. Whatever, lady. But I wouldn't necessarily go. No one deserves execution. There's some people who just should be erased from the world. Like. There's some people who who had such unforgivable crimes that they should just, like, disappear. I'd like to know more about you, Basla. Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity, given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. Tell me how you joined the Jedi, then. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Tal Ravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. 
I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. Discouraged? Why? Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst. But even love can lead to folly. Don't you miss your family at all? Like all who join the Order, I have learned to embrace the life I've chosen. I had to let go of my attachments to my family. That must have been difficult. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. You and your father were close? Very close. I was only a little girl when I left my family, but I still remember him fondly. He was kind and gentle and doted on me. My mother, however, was different. I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent Daddy's the little girl. <laughs> she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false move to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give him to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. You never tried to get in touch with your father again? A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. You sound very sad when you say that. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. Okay, Basil, it's okay. Yes, what's Perth, what do you got to say? Nothing? Okay, cool. Enough talking. Let's go to, to Tatooine. What the hell? Wait, what? Gavin? I thought this was a modded thing. Alright, let's go to Yavin. Oh, wait. Going down to the surface of Yavin is a modded thing. But going to Yavin was like a, uh, a DLC that was taken away whenever uh, Xbox Live for the original Xbox got taken away. Gentlemen. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Kath Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Oh, fuck you, Kalonord. Kalonord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well known. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me. There is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldier? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karen. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Ooh, more information being withheld. Here we are. How can I help? You wish to talk to me? I do. I've been watching you, 
studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. I think we both know the real reason you've been watching me. You never give up, do you? Mm -hmm. I admit, I'm interested in you. I find you intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. You That's what they all say. You have an awesome command of the Force, and I tremble when I think of how you might misuse it. I make you tremble? Do you get all tingly inside too? What? No, of course not. Not like that anyway. In many ways, you are, you are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy, or you could bring untold destruction upon us all. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable, but I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi master can truly explain this, but I will do my best to make you understand. What are you trying to tell me? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger or temptation or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power. Then it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. You seem to know this temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than you are. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. You need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? Are you saying the light side of... Are you saying the light side is innocent of killing? One who serves the light does not strike down an innocent. We take arms against the dark side, and the injustice that follows it only would save you to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror. But we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. Do whatever is required, such as... I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Sounds like foreshadowing. No. Then I suggest we move on. Yes, what's on your mind? You know anything about this place? I don't really know much about this place. Sorry. You got okay, it. bye. Alright, we're gonna bring Karth and Bassa. What's wrong, Zalbar? Something's not right, huh? What do you mean? Okay. I am the captain of the ship. I need to fix all the problems. Strangely, the food storage seems to have been disturbed recently. No one in the party would have done this. So there must be some other explanation. Examine the supplies more closely. There are no half-eaten or torn packages to indicate theft was from pests or vermin. It looks like some unknown person has been conducting con clandestine raids on your stores. Whoever the thief is, they managed to avoid detection by you or your companions so far. Maybe a thorough search of the ship would reveal the stowaway? Okay. Anything in here? You think you hear the st soft p patter of footsteps behind you. And then it went away before I was done reading it. More patter. Then they stop when you... When you stop the list, they disappear. Yep. 
You hear footsteps. They sound like they're coming for the cargo hold. You! You're gonna die! Hey, what are you doing here? Calm down, little girl. I won't hurt you. I still don't understand you. Okay. Can you tell me your name? Point to yourself. My name is Manly Shamewell. You are... Sasha. Your name is Sasha, right? How did you get on this ship, Sasha? Try to learn Sasha's strange language. Many of your words, many of the words you're speaking are Mandalorian. Mandalore. That's your word for Mandalorian? So you do know of them. But are you a Mandalorian child then? So you're human. You learn the words from somewhere though? I see you. Or you see me? You're you're hiding. This is to hide. I didn't get all that, but sure. It's a thing? Something around here? It means starship, doesn't it? Everything is safe? Is that it? The panel of this is your home. Lisfa means home. You're hiding in the starship. It's your home. I understand. You said that before. What is Gundisan? Something about me, yes. But what? It's something you like. Yes. Gundisan means you like it. Oh. You like me. I understand. The Edsons. You said that when I first found you. Ed means hit. Is that it? It. Oh. So, Ed's is to hurt. Not Ed's means to not hurt. Is that it? I understand. No, I won't hurt you. Don't worry. Yum. What kind of word is that? It's part of the ship? A room? Yum. You mean food, don't you? Yum is food? Is that a one phrase? The floor. Nagaras means floor? You're not speaking now. Nagaras means now. Nanugas is not now or before? You want some food now. You're hungry. Tabbed you? What, it, what do you mean? You want me to tell you a story? About what? So tabbed means tell me about. I get it. 
You want to know about me, do you? Why are you hiding on my ship? You came to the ship before. You were very scared. Why? You left the Mandalorians and hid here on the ship? You don't want to leave. The Ebon Hawk is your home. The Ebon Hawk is not your home, Sasha. Not your first home, anyway. Tell me about your home before. Dantooine? Maybe someone on Dantooine remembers you? Huh. Okay. Well, back to Dantooine. Alright. Basta and Karth. The Dream Team. Why are you over there making all kinds of noise, you little turd? Ugh, this is an interesting place. Does it sound like there's sound for the door? Maybe I just didn't hear it. Yeah, there's no sound for the door at all. Not anymore. Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm new. Very new. I work for the Republic. Chindoshans and smugglers? What are you talking about? Thank you. I'm trying to defeat Darth Malak. He is beating the Republic pretty badly. What ruins? You're an inventor? Yeah, 
I'd like to ask you something else. I don't want to spend 20 million years talking to you. Uh... So. A light exoskeleton? That seems cool. Mimics the major mus muscle movements of the wearer with mechanical impulses, resulting in greater strength and faster reaction times, huh? Uh, if only it wasn't so much. And then this one. Specialty of the Baragwin. Baragwin. This modified suit is advanced, has advanced adaptive camouflage that, when combined with a stealth generator, allows it to blend in nearly seamlessly with the background. When viewed from any direction. It is generally only sold to respected governments, but a number have found their way into more disreputable distribution channels. These gloves contain a, an advanced fire control and trajectory analysis system which links to held ranged weapons. This allows user greater accuracy when aiming their own weapons. It also gives warning to incoming fire that would likely hit the wearer, which results in the blaster deflection. <laughs> oh, I want this. I want to be able to wear it, but it requires implant level 3. Microcomputer analyzes the contents of the user's circulatory system, as well as surges and drops in nerve transmission rates, which... Attempts to stabilize the user's system and remove undesirable elements from it. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. Super efficient version of a normal droid shield, the Bar Baragwin version has been modified and customized to be able to run off the power supply of the droid mounting it. While the energy drain on the droid is insignificant, the protection gain is equal if not superior to a normal light droid energy shield if i ever use droids that'd be effective but i never use droids ever okay uh what can i get rid of blast rifle does raptor rifle uh sonic rifle i hate those things i still need to give zalbar his uh bowcaster get rid of that Davix visor is designed to enhance the user's ability to target and deal damage when using a blaster. Bye. Never use these. Never use that. Never use that. Okay, that should be enough. All right, well, I shall return. I require the use of the facilities and I shall be right back.
All right, nobody freak out. I'm back. Don't worry about it. Hey, look, a Gizka. Pet it. Hi there. Pet it again. And leave it alone. Bye. Access denied. And what about this one? Access denied. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> you get to see the cool little uh, gas giant that is Yavin. And then there's Yavin 4 over there. I want to take a little shuttle down to Yavin 4. Check out the ruins. That'd be fun. Don't you think? I think that would be fun. I think you have a Gizko loose. <laughs> Tell me about the system. What was on you having for? I can't believe freaking Christmas is in like four days. Pretty much everything. <laughs> Give them to me. Hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. And then I'm gonna try the Force Persuade. Do I have Dominate Mind? Or do I just have Persuade? I do have Dominate Mind. Give them to me. You can cut me a deal. Uh, that's a decent deal. Oh, wait. Hold on, did he just make it go up in price? Hold on. That would be so funny if he made it go up rather than down. Oh, okay. <laughs> he brought it down by 400 credits. I was gonna say, that would have been so funny if he, like, brought up the price by, like, 600. Back to the Emmonhawk.
Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, let's go back to, uh, to Dantooine. So that we could drop off this kid. So that no one starts freaking out. Uh, can I? I can't switch people while in the Ebonhawk. That's unfortunate. I guess that's just a, uh, Knights 2 thing. We out this bitch. How can I help? Why did the council send me with you on this mission? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus proved that the force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the force is involved. Is that not enough for you? If the Force wants us together, why do you keep den resisting my undeniable charms? I said we were brought together for our mission to stop Malak. I hardly think the Force would be pushing us toward a romantic involvement when the fate of the galaxy is at stake. Please try to stay focused. I doubt the Council would approve if they knew we were busy discussing our mutual attraction when we should be saving the galaxy hmm. from Malak. Mutual attraction? I knew you were interested in me. Mutual attraction? I never said... It's just an expression. Whatever our feelings... I mean, whatever your feelings, you have to try to ignore them. Don't let this complicate things. Finding innocent pieces of the star maps is our only hope of locating the Star Forge and defeating Malak. The Council explained all this quite clearly. It seems odd they would send me off without a master to guide me. I admit, there were times that I wondered if this was more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the council to test my own abilities. I get a feeling there's more going on than I, I know. The council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the council explained, sending a master in our group could only have drawn no. attention from the city. They were saying sending a company of Jedi Knights, not a Jedi Master. Calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. I guess that makes sense. We must learn to trust in the wisdom of the council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. Me? <laughs> uh you're right. I suppose we should get back to the mission now. Come on, come. Let's move on. There's much to be done. I don't want to be mean to her. Yes, what's on your mind? Sorry, can't be much help with that. Okay, what about you? How can I help? I'm confident that you can deal with that on your own. Not a single idea. What the hell kind of teammates are you people? Okay, Basta. Uh, card. Can chop a chow with big chop twees, yun kun, atu yama tama wona henak ne, bugra shak kun tichi wa un chawa, dong a book shami no nok. I am Bastila, yes. I take it that you know my mother. Bastila. Ona na kachu, kicha badwang, wanga kum kiba bu mulera, kakin chak nawa gawa bakon. Donk, is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Don't be rude, Bassa. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon, wana kum bes, chi pala mulek, tong ki fa na nonek, tu nik ton chu chun ke nemolek grabes. My mother's condition. Can I buy box and kiba? A tea condo on a chaba chisa wanki. Tea toki grantu con chichan kun green kanchan to pro. Bok wala no bok cha. Mi chi con chuba kin lose ikun. I've not seen my mother since I joined the order. Do you know what's happened? Did she. Did she say anything about my father? 
Kim Chopa Chawi, Tik Chok Twees, Yun Kun. Mama Kama won a hen at neck. Bugra shot. I see. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? Tik had gone Mulaka. Thank you for informing me. I really must be going now. What's this all about? It seems my mother's been looking for me. Strange. Should we get the opportunity? Could we look for her on Tatooine? Certainly, if you think it's important. It's important enough that my mother was attempting to seek me out. Perhaps it has something to do with my father. Part of me would rather not see her at all. But if she is really sick... Well, we shall see. I swear, my dog is like a cat in a dog's body. Uh, go ahead. Sasha? Okay. Uh, there is a stowaway on my ship by the name Sasha. Yes, I am, but she only speaks a smuttering of Mandalorian, but I was able to figure it out. Certainly, I'll bring you to my ship. Alright. Go have a nice life. I'm glad I was able to help with that. Now let's get the hell out of here. About time I freaking left this place behind. We're gonna go to Tatooine first. I was debating on it before, but now that both Mission and Basa have their uh, missions on uh, Tatooine, we're going there. And maybe I'll meet Kalinord and his merry band of bullshit. Sleepy times. Time to uh, not be able to get any sleep at all. Why does it take you 10,000 hours to land a ship? The Force has given us <laughs> vision. The one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but glowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. It looked like it was inside of some kind of cave. Maybe Tatooine wasn't always a desert. Perhaps, though that would have been tens of thousands of years in the past. Now there's nothing but the howling emptiness of the Dune Sea. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. The fun part is, many such caves and caverns hidden in the sand. with some of the research I was doing because of my fucking nerd, uh, the Infinite Empire? Which were the people who made the uh, Starforge? Yes, they actually bombarded this planet 
which turned it into the desolate wasteland that it is now because it used to be like a a water world or like a tranquil world and then it became the desert planet you see now because fire rained from the heavens and scorched everything welcome to anchorhead potential customer Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve. After some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. What do I get for my 100 credits? The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable we just want to cover expenses is there any way you could reconsider the fee i assure you that the fee is non-negotiable we have a very thin margin of profit on this road the money i save i'll spend in your stores that does make sense i suppose i could let it go this time we need the business this will cover any future landings as well it's like a registration so we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Uh... Actually, really need to get going. As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the footlocker that I know is over here. And then the other footlocker that's on the other side. Pardon me, sir. Okay. And let's go talk to this guy. What? What shipment? What are you talking about? Excuse me, did you say Gizka? <sighs> okay, whatever. <laughs> what is this thing? I really want to know. You'll see this. Famous Chinese warriors fighting against oppression and villainy while encountering Darth Revan. Discovering that Revan had killed in a Chinese senator, the citizens attempted to tell authorities, but fell to the powers of the Sith Lord despite his own impressive abilities. The Cortosis Weave inherit and the Cortosis Weave inherit in all a Chinese Viper Braid. Viper Braid. Okay. The thing does look pretty powerful. With this weapon, the Mandalorians gain, again demonstrate a complete lack of s subtlety. The only thing better than a big blaster is apparently, what? <laughs> apparently, is one that shoots faster. Okay. <laughs> Let's go and grab one of these just in case. Nerve amplifier belt. That'd be good if I was fighting uh, Dark Jedi. Uh, some Gizka poison and bantha fodder. Huh? 
We'll just do this the rest of the way. Okay. And now, let's go into Anchorhead. Go into Anchorhead. <clears throat> okay, one is in the cantina, the other one is in the Zerka office. How much credits do I have? I want to help this lady. Okay, good. I have more than enough. Will you help me? I have nothing. Nothing left. What do you need? I'm mainly Shimla. I'll help if I can. Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, can you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. It's so rare. Why do you need the money? I spent everything on my husband's hunting gear. We hoped that the Sporks would support us. We hoped. Whoever killed him took everything. All I have left is this desert raid plate. We thought we were so lucky when we brought it home. If I could sell it, the kids and I could get out of here. Maybe buy a passage to Coruscant? I don't know. Let's talk about what to do with this plate. Buy it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. Perhaps I'll buy it from you. Will? Oh, thank you so much. Please, I know it's worth at least 500 credits. I'll pay that and an extra 200. Good luck. 700 credits. Oh, thank you. It is more than generous of you. I don't know what to say. I just don't. Wow. Sometimes helping people feels pretty good, you know? <laughs> thank you for helping this woman. It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you are making a difference. For whatever it means, may the force be with you. You have saved us. I do what I can. And I can what I do and sell it. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? <laughs> Helena, Basla, is that your mother's name? Her mother was supposed to be here somewhere. Ask if they've seen her. <laughs> Is she still there? We should try to find her. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. <laughs> yes, we are. Don't worry about it. Where are her whole village? What? What's going on here? Who are you? Hello. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. I'm looking for a miner named Griff. Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Are you certain of that? I would leave sooner if I knew. Oh, you mean that Twi'lek? Must have slipped my mind for a second. Yes, of course I remember Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies. Although we could never prove it. Yeah, that sounds like him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. 
would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the sand people wouldn't have gotten him. Sand people? He was lost in a sand people raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. So all of your workers are expendable? Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. That's why we've started a bounty program to thin the sand people numbers. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I can't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Never mind, I want to ask you about something else. Ask about hunting licenses. We are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. There is no way to get a license? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gappy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. I'll agree to do this. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Green Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. I'll get to it. Zerka Corporation <coughs> future business. <coughs> Uh, we could save the sand people, but I fucking hate sand people. They're just giant assholes who kill people just because they're different. So, uh, no. We're, um, gonna kill them all. Is this about Zerka 1 and the sand people chief didn't kill? The circus said that the same people attacked first. What would you suggest then? Who would have a capable droid? Maybe I'll look into it. Uh, where would you get robes to match theirs? So you're considering... So what you're saying is... We have to kill them... For peace? You're insane. Wanna convest Chimpama Rulira, 
Yeah, what do you know? You were the one considering having us kill the sand people to get the robes so we could negotiate? That doesn't make any sense, sir. Okay, now, where is this? What is this? Swoop registration? Eh, bye. Oh, hello, gentlemen. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, shit. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. I need to heal and maybe throw on a shield. Ow. Ow. Would you stop? Ah, rude. Now die. Piece of shit. Fuck you. Sith Assassin pistol. A double bladed lightsaber no ooh. It's exactly the same, but it's black. Okay. Uh, this is something weird, like a weird little... I guess you could call it Easter egg. But you put this on her, right? It's all like this. It's all black and shit. And then you take it off. And now she's wearing her underwear from whenever she was captured. And it's like, what? I don't really understand why that makes a difference. Because you put on a regular Jedi robe. And then take it off. And she wears this. <clears throat> Let's see about the blue one. Okay. She looks like that. Take it off. And she's wearing her normal underwear. I don't understand what the difference is. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me. But eh, whatever. Anchorhead Cantina. Let's go get yelled at by Bassa's mother. Maybe she'll think I'm her boyfriend. That'd be nice. I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm here, mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? You know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew as well as I communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. Now what is this about? Where's Father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Bassa. That is part of the reason why I was looking for you. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely... Presumptuous little shit, ain't you? Oh, she's flinging insults at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? My mother's long dead, if you must know. Is that so? Well, I'll be joining her soon enough, I suppose. I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying or is Why is she wearing a Jedi robe? My benefit? Such sweet things you say. Well, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spicy. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunt, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for Great Dragon Pearl. He took an expedition into the Tatooine Desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? 
father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a crate dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits? Well, don't be insulting. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it? Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. Why don't you... Uh, no. Uh, don't you want to find your father's remains, Basla? What remains would there be? Crate dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human. And the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his holocron. And the noble end to a fine man. What about